everyone, Michael Bream here with EV West TV. Today we're going to give you a little walkthrough on our 2003 Ford Ranger. This is our shop truck over here at EV West and uh, man, we really love this thing. It's a great truck, super fun to drive, super fast, uh, great little truck and a nice little simple system. What we have is we have a DC system running at 250 volts. We create that power with about 76 Cal 180 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries. That power goes to our Evnetic Soliton 1 DC controller. It's rated at 1,000 amps, so plenty of power that drives our net gain warp 9 motor down below. In front of that, we have our EV West adapter plate and pump system. What we have is we have a factory air conditioning pump over here, so we still have our air conditioning in the truck. In the middle there, we have a belt-driven vacuum pump. Uh, we really like the belt-driven pump. It creates plenty of vacuum, and it's a real nice, uh, real quiet running pump. On the far right over there, we have our KRC power steering pump, another item that we really like over here at EV West. It's got an interchangeable valve system that allows you to control the volume of the power steering pump, so it's really universal on what application you put it in. Anything from a small light sports car to a heavy duty truck, it'll, it'll do the job for you. Here we just wanted to give you a close up so you could actually see the pumps working up close. We have the air conditioning pump, the brake vacuum pump, and on the far end we have the power steering pump. We have an idler tensioner down below and a crank pulley at the very bottom. On the far right over here, what we have is we have a DC-DC converter. It's running at 500 watts, and that's quite a bit of power. So what that did is it allowed us to use a smaller 20 amp hour absorbed gas mount battery, and that's a real weight saver. And uh, when you're building an EV, you need to save all the weight that you can. Up front here, we have the Elcon PFC 5000 charger. Uh, we put this in in a kind of a unique installation. What we have is we have a removable rack up here that's used for the factory radiator. And we took advantage of that by mounting it to a frame here. That allows us to pull the charger out, disconnect a couple Anderson plugs down here. And we can use this charger in the shop when we're, uh, you know, we have an extra car in the shop or we just need to use the uh, charger externally. So it's a great little universal item there, real modular, works great for us. Uh, the system is liquid cooled. We have a CPU cooling system over here with a dual fan radiator system. And then on the back side here we have our reservoir and our pump. Uh, that's just about it for under the hood. Uh, let's go back and take a look at the battery pack. All right, so here we are at the back of the Ranger. What you see is we have three separate battery packs in the rear of the Ranger. We actually have one more in the extra cab. That's what we call our range extender. It's a smaller pack and it's actually removable if we ever need to take it out for extra cargo space. Our three battery boxes back here are made out of 316 aluminum, and they're welded up, uh, coated in a chip guard. And then what we do is we use the marine starboard for covers. So our batteries are underneath, it keeps them out of the environment, keeps them nice and safe. And at the same time, these are held securely down, especially when the bed's bolted on top. Uh, we have a real clean, simple installation back here. And here at EV West, we always recommend running all of your high voltage traction cables in International Orange for safety reasons. So we have clearly marked visible cables back here. And we also have our contactor back here, our EV200 Tyco contactor. And we use this for a safety disconnect. It's in the middle of the packs, uh, along with our safety disconnects up front. So we really like to be redundant with safety and uh, you can almost never have too many uh, disconnection points. So we have one of these back here in the back of the pack and uh, feel a little bit better for it. Uh, now that we've shown you the front, now that we've shown you the back, let's just jump in this thing and see what it can do. All right, now that we had some fun out on the road with our truck, we're going to go ahead and wrap this walkthrough up. Just wanted to mention our instrumentation inside. We are using a Xantrex Link Pro, and we are using the Ziva fuel gauge driver. We really like those, and we really uh, like to keep our OEM gauges. We don't like to uh, fuss up the dash or change things too much. So we're, we really like to take the gauges in their current state and kind of figure out a way to use them the way that the car designers originally intended. So that pretty much wraps up our Ford Ranger here. Again, this is Michael Bream with EV West TV, and we want to say uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.